a local immigration services group that testified at the city hall hearings. And Ben, good to have you on. Thank you. Thank you. I know you've been working on this for a long time, a big supporter of it. What does this mean? It means that our immigrant neighbors will have a voice in our democracy. It's a great day for New York City. A voice that also is getting a little opposition to for those. It is a controversial issue. There are those immigrants who have come here and feel as if it's a slap in the face, that they've worked hard to have the right to have this democratic process that we so cherish and that it's sort of just given away. We believe that our democracy works better and our city works better when all of our neighbors have a say in what's going on. Uh, our immigrant neighbors are essential workers who saved lives during the pandemic. We go to we, our children go to school together. Um, we all access the same city services, uh, whether it's sanitation or, or the fire department, the police department, and the city will work better for everyone if everyone has a voice in how those services respond to the needs of our communities. There was a little school of thought also that it might dilute the black vote as well. What do you say to that? I'm. I'm a big believer that we're all in this together and that our democracy works better for everyone. I think um, we provide a lot of services to African Americans at Queens Community House. We provide a lot of services that are designed to bring African Americans and immigrant neighbors and other uh, ethnicities that have been in New York City for a long time together and to see that the city is better for everyone when it works better for everyone. So I, I think that kind of viewpoint that some people are winning and some people are losing um, is is the wrong way to think about it. I think the right way to think about it is when the city works for everyone, it works for everyone and we all win. And this is the day. I believe that every New Yorker won today because our democracy is strong. Can you break it down for us a little bit of some of the requirements that are involved for those who are eligible for this? So um, the, the folks who are eligible for this are, are legal permanent residents. Uh, that's the main eligibility criteria. There are nearly 1 million New Yorkers who are green card holders or have valid work authorizations and uh, will be enfranchised by this historic vote. Um, and so these are New Yorkers who legally live here. As I said, their children go to school here. They work, they pay taxes. Um, and uh, it's important for our city that they have a voice in the way the city works and that their vote counts. So I'm looking at, I think the year 2023 will be the first time that this will be able to be instated, the first election where they would be allowed to vote in. And right now it's just local elections. It's not on the state level or the federal election uh, level, correct? Right, that's right. Do you see it as a gateway that perhaps that's the next stage? We believe strongly that democracy works better um, when, when everybody has a voice and everybody has a chance to vote. I can't say what's coming next. I will say that you know, as you mentioned at the beginning, the team at Queens Community House has been working alongside our neighbors for more years than I can count to make this day a reality. Um, so we're going to celebrate this win. We're going to make sure that as many New Yorkers as possible um, who have the ability to vote vote in those elections. Um, we work we work to promote the franchise among people who have um, had the right to vote for decades. Unfortunately, you know, participation in municipal elections in New York City has, has been very, very low recently. Um, and so that's our real focus is to take this as an opportunity to strengthen democracy in New York City uh, and really make sure that everybody, citizens um, and legal permanent re residents vote um, when, when, the, when the opportunity is there for them. All right, Ben Thomas is joining us, Executive Director of Queens Community House. Uh, good to have you on tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a great day for New York City.